are always asking me why I call myself Wonder Hussy. Why would I call myself a hussy? What is a hussy? Aside from the immoral part, this pretty aptly describes me. I'm brazen and mischievous and ill-behaved, at least by some people's standards. Although I don't look much like a sewing kit. But the real reason I chose the name Wonder Hussy is that I make my living as an artistic nude model. And I get a lot of flack for it. People assume that because I'm comfortable being photographed naked, I must be a, a or a I'm telling you, I've been called some names. There are obviously a lot of misconceptions about what I do for a living, so I'm here today to clear them up. First off, you should realize that there are hundreds, if not thousands of women doing what I do, working full-time as a freelance nude model, meaning we hire ourselves out to photographers, mostly amateurs and hobbyists, but the occasional published photographer as well. Most freelance nude models travel for work, touring around the country, stopping in various cities to work with the local photographers, but I'm lucky. I live in Vegas. I don't have to travel. They come to me. Since Vegas is such a common destination, almost all my clients are out-of-towners who are in town for a trade show or a convention or even a vacation, and they want to take a day to go out and shoot in the desert. And since I know all the best shooting spots in the desert around Vegas, and I'm not afraid to take photographers out there, I stay pretty busy without having to travel. Now, you might think I'm nuts for going out into the middle of nowhere with strange men, and it is almost 100% men who hire me. Very few female photographers shoot female nudes. But one thing you have to understand is, contrary to what they say on TV, these photographers are not random perverts. This is probably the hardest part about what I do for people to understand. It's easy to assume that any guy who would hire a nude model is just a horn dog looking to score. Why else would you pay to photograph a naked chick? Well, this might blow your mind, but this is simply not the case. I've done hundreds of photo shoots with hundreds of photographers, and they come from all walks of life. Doctors, lawyers, engineers, IT specialists, sales guys, mostly white collar guys because they're typically the ones who can afford to hire a model. But what they all have in common is wanting to create art. This might sound silly to you, but the urge to create something beautiful is strong. Many of these guys work long hours, and photography is their outlet. Maybe as young men they wanted to become artists, but went into another field in the interest of making money, and now they're at a point in their life where they can afford to pursue that long-neglected artistic ambition. So they aren't just random pervs, nor are they murderous rapists. They're just regular people. So how do I find these people? Or how do they find me? We use a site called Model Mayhem. It's basically like a Facebook or a LinkedIn for models and photographers where we can browse profiles and contact those that we're interested in working with. For models, Model Mayhem does provide a bit of security as we can log into the site and check references with other models that that photographer has shot with. And we can check out the type of photos they took together, what kind of style that photographer shoots, um, some photographers prefer to shoot a more erotic, explicit style that I'm not really comfortable with, so I'll usually decline those types of shoots because I'm not really an erotic or adult model. I mean, no disrespect to erotic or adult models. It's just not for me. I prefer shooting what's called artistic nudes, which I'll get into in a minute. The way it generally works is, photographer X is coming to Vegas, so he searches Model Mayhem for all models in the Vegas area. He can filter that search to specify nudes only, and then choose from the results, contacting those models he's interested in working with. His message to prospective models might say, Hi, I'm coming to Vegas November 11th through 15th and would like to shoot art nudes in the desert. I have a budget of $500 for eight hours. Do you have any availability or interest? Or he might not have time to take a full day off, so he'll say something like, Hey, I'm coming to Vegas November 11th through 15th and would like to shoot 
boudoir nudes in my hotel room for a couple hours. Now I know shooting nude photos in some random hotel room sounds really seedy. But here in Vegas, we have some really beautiful hotel rooms and they make great photo sets. While I prefer shooting in the desert, when I first started out, I did a lot of shoots in hotel rooms. I used to say I've been in more hotel rooms than a hooker, and it's probably true. In any case, my experiences have been completely legit. There's no hanky-panky, just a photo shoot. Some models are more comfortable meeting up before a shoot at Starbucks, but I shoot so much that I don't have time for that. I mean, I can vet the photographer's profile on Model Mayhem, and if there's any questions at all, or it seems even the slightest bit off, I can just decline the shoot. I mean, there's plenty of legitimate photographers out there, so there's no need to jeopardize my safety. Once the details are hashed out, it's time to shoot. The day of the shoot, I'll do my hair and makeup, and pack a suitcase full of wardrobe, shoes, and accessories to take with me. You might think it odd that a nude model brings clothes to a shoot, but I'm here to tell you, eight hours of shooting nudes can get boring pretty quick. There's only so many poses you can do, so it's best to bring a few things along to liven up the images. For a desert shoot, I typically bring some flowy fabrics that you can kind of wave in the breeze, a bag of accessories like necklaces and sunglasses, basically anything to accentuate the nude form. My personal favorite style of photos to shoot are art nudes, where you're just sort of incorporating yourself into the landscape and oftentimes your face doesn't even show. But occasionally photographers want to shoot what's called glamour nudes, which is more traditional playboy style stuff. So I'll also bring cowboy boots, cowboy hat, jean jacket, little plaid shirt, oh, Daisy Dukes and a little wife beater to go with them. Some high heels to make my legs look longer. I mean, I wear these out in the desert, so they're kind of busted. I mean, I really need to clean these. Oh, an assortment of lingerie, a couple little mini dresses. For a hotel room or studio shoot, I'll pack some of the same stuff. Plus, an assortment of lingerie, including stockings, I keep my lingerie in labeled baggies. That might seem a little bit anal retentive, but I go through a lot of lingerie and it gets expensive. My accessory bag with all the necklaces and glasses and stuff. I can bring more shoes to a hotel or a studio shoot because they're not gonna get messed up, so I can break out my nice ones. <laughs> and oh, I'll also bring usually a couple little mini dresses. I don't bring the fabrics or the cowgirl stuff since that fits better with the desert. Side note, this ginormous suitcase full of wardrobe will come in handy for the photo shoot, but it's also handy for appearances. You look less like a hooker going up to some strange guy's hotel room when you're dragging a friggin' rolling suitcase. Okay, now that I've packed my bag, I'm ready to go. I'll usually wear a loose-fitting dress, or depending on the weather, leggings, anything stretchy that won't leave any marks on my skin. So that means no bra and no panties. And this wolf dress is one of my favorite things to wear while I'm shooting because it's easy to pull on real fast if we get busted. Today I'm shooting out in the desert near Gold Butte, and the photographer has graciously allowed me to document the shoot, which means you get to come along. Let's roll. Okay, so I've met up with the photographer and we're traveling up to the location now. And as you can see, he's not a murderous freak or a rapist. In fact, this is the very first photographer that I ever shot nude photos with. And we've become really good friends. My good friend, Randy. Hi, Randy. Hi, Sarah. By the way, if you've been following my other videos, this is not the same Randy that restored my old vintage trailer. I have two awesome friends named Randy. This Randy is one of the best photographers I know and he's taken many of my favorite pictures of myself. And we have traveled around the desert together quite a bit. Hey Randy, remember that time we got stuck in the sand at the Salton Sea? <laughs> yeah, sure do. Good times and fun memories. After 
after the shoot, I sign a modeling release. For a paid photo shoot, I typically sign a standard release that allows the photographer to use the images commercially. That means he gets to sell them if he can. Keep this in mind if you're considering going into modeling. The photographer owns the copyright to all the photos he shoots. And depending on what kind of release you sign, he could sell them. If you're worried about nude photos of yourself cropping up online, you probably shouldn't go into this line of work. Even if the photographer only plans to use them for his private collection, they could still end up online and come back to haunt you. The standard release I typically sign allows me to use the photos for promotional purposes, like on my blog or my Tumblr or on Model Mayhem. I don't have the right to use the images commercially, which is why I don't sell books or calendars or anything people have asked me about. I mean, if I wanted to, I could hire a photographer and pay them and have him or her sign a release allowing me to use the photos commercially. But I model to pay my bills, and for me, the 500 bucks that I make for a shoot is probably more than I'm going to earn from selling calendars. A bird in the hand is better than two in the bush, so to speak. <laughs> All right, now that I've gotten paid, it's time to take my money to the bank. Because almost 100% of what I earn is cash, it would be very easy for me to under-report my earnings to the IRS. But remember what I was saying earlier about not being immoral? That's right, I report every single dollar I make and I pay my fair share of taxes. So next time you drive on a highway or send your kid off to a public school, you can thank a nude model. Anyway, that's what being a freelance nude model is all about. Sorry it wasn't more exciting and that there wasn't more rape, murder, and molesting. But the reality is it's pretty humdrum. Sorry to ruin your fantasy. But speaking of rape, murder, and molestation, here's what I always tell people when they worry about my workplace safety. Flip the script. Sure, I'm going out into the middle of nowhere with a strange man, but guess what? He's going out into the middle of nowhere with a very strange woman. And in many ways, I hold the upper hand. I'm taking some poor, helpless stranger out to the middle of nowhere in a very harsh climate that he's probably not used to, where oftentimes there's no cell reception and he has no idea how to get back to the strip, his pockets are full of cash, and he's carrying a case full of expensive camera gear. I could just as easily rob him and leave him for dead in the desert. Or more realistically, I could have a posse of friends waiting at the location and take advantage of him there. Of course, like I already said, I'm not immoral, and I would never do something like that, but it's interesting to think about. Still, morals or no, people often assume the worst about me just because I'm not ashamed of being naked. Call me a Call me a Call me a hussy. If what I do makes me a hussy, well then, by golly, I'll own it and be the best darn hussy there is. And that's why I call myself Wonder Hussy. <laughs>